All right. Hostage crisis, round two. Electric boogaloo. Fight start! Okay. Okay, you two just kind of... Hang out here. Or... The yes. terrain is too rough. Whatever the hell y'all are on about. You know, just just stay put. Oh, that's not the right one. That's not the right spot. Here they come. Turn them on, turn them on. Yeah. We're saying, quite a few of them. Yeah, but they're all chasing me. And that's exactly what I want them to do. Well, except that one, who's being a little bitch. What was that? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, stay put. They're still chattering at themselves and screaming at the garbage cans. Evolution of humanity, huh? Sure. Alright, well, since we're here... Time to be a klepto. If there's anything to loot. No. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes! Actually, no, take that. Liar can probably use it. Mm, on second thought, I guess not. Hmm. It's kind of funny considering the Onyx armor is supposed to be uh, the signature armor, or at least the Shepard's signature armor. It's the only one that has the N7 on it. Um, sir. Well, I'm sure that's gonna change a bit more than in the later games. What? Walking on the furniture? I was preferring more to uniforms with an N7 and more... Eh... ...existent. Eh? It's hard to explain. You'll just have to see. Yeah, we'll see. In the meantime, that's another side quest. Done. Message coming in. <coughs> Patching it through. I didn't think it could be done, Commander. You managed to secure the base and neutralize the biotics without a single civilian casualty. Just doing my job, Admiral. I couldn't let innocent lives be lost. I wish every soldier had your definition of just doing your job. <laughs> You're a credit to the uniform, Shepard. We're in your debt. Fifth lead out. I mean, sure, I did it in a ra rather lactose intolerant manner. But hey, whatever works. I may as well check these other systems while we're at it. Do you mean a lactose abundant manner? Ah, tomato, tomato. Okay. Yeah, sure. I guess we've already been here. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like we've already been here. Yeah, it sounds familiar. Well, just to be safe, check the other planets. Mm. 
Nefunu. Cute cat. I was just naming the planet. <coughs> Dis. Which system? Dis system. Which system? Dis system. I'm not sorry. Wait, what did it say? Ah. Jatar is noted for discovery of the Leviathan Dis, the apparent corpse of a genetically engineered living starship. The Leviathan was found in the bottom of a crater by a Batarian survey team, and estimated to be nearly a billion years old. It disappeared after a visit to the system by a Batarian dreadnought 20 years ago. Since then, the Batarians have steadfastly denied that the Leviathan existed at all, and all the more ferociously when shown recordings of a corpse made by Stellarian researchers. Suspiciously specific denial. Yeah. Like, uh, I think they might be having a few secrets there. And nothing important there. Oh, other planet. Nothing here. All right. Ding dong. Hmm. The gist of that was the Terrians who surveyed the place falsified the um, survey reports, making it seem like it was mineral rich to try and con uh, trick. And humanity into uh, in, uh, putting a lot of money into a costly endeavor that would bring out nothing. The Batarian government, of course, uh, denies having any part of it. Guys, they're little shits! Sounds about them. You notice the running theme here. Batarians, one, don't like humanity, and two, Fervently deny anything that happens to benefit them and cost humanity. Yep. <clears throat> no way, we'll be running into something. It's almost like they're salty for something or other. <clears throat> Out of can traverse. <clears throat> Everything can be found in the codex, which I'm not going to sit here and read every entry of. In fact, I think you can just Google the codex whenever you're curious. Just mind that it will have... It, pro it will probably have the Mass Effect 3 or Mass Effect Andromeda codex. Which may or That's may not contain... Hard. Huh? That's enough of a reason for me not to. Yeah, as I say, that may contain spoilers. Mm-hmm. Hey, what, hey, what do you have? Hmm. Nothing. Can't interact with it. Weird. Hey, what about up here? Mm -hmm. You give one medallion. Not that that's useful. Oh, hey. oh, I sense enemies. I see enemies. Oh, hey, I need to plug my phone. 3% battery. Fuck you. Glad I just happened to check on it. Hmm. How long have we been recording? Uh, nine minutes. Alright, we're already on the second episode of that. Well done. Your memory serves you well. Dead. Alright, in we go. Time for me to go high five Goku, I guess. <laughs> Okay.
I can be really, really good at something. And then you're just bad. Yeah, basically. Knock, knock. Council Spectre. Official business. Surrender or die. Die. We can do this, Stacy. Okay, I see you're choosing the hard way. Yeah, which one was the good at voice acting? I mean, I don't think I'm that good. You certainly seem to have a wider range than I do. Mm. I think, maybe. Possibly. If anything now. Could be happening right now. See? Hold the line! Come here, motherfucker. Whack. It's like I'm climbing up the feet. That's both of them. Yeah, she should be over you until she stops us in the bike. It's okay. This suit has some armor on the back. So all it's gonna do is annoy me. Hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not as, you know, insanely durable as Kiryu's forehead. <laughs> to be fair, with how many guns you're carrying on your back, it would actually be harder to stab you on the back than on the front. <laughs> you're not wrong. But I guess in general, the only reason to stab someone in the back is because they don't see it coming. Yeah. Like, yeah, especially if you take into account the, you know, bombs, it's... Technically more effective to unlikely to cause any actual damage if you stab many you know, to actually get you a kill if you stab from the front, I guess. Why are we talking about this again? Because we fully expect this Helena Blake to stab us in the back. Oh yeah, that's why. Right. Right, but now it will be completely and totally unexpected when she stabs us in the front instead. <laughs> Screw it. Let's drop down and see what's down there. Why not? If you can save me from having to hunt down Matriarch writings later, I'll do it now. Yeah, we might as well go exploding. I hate the map tells you which ones are just ores and we can just ignore those, right? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Two oh, no. threshers on this rock. Wow. Oh my. That's an experience. That's impressive. I'm ignoring them. It's like, impressive that there's anyone still alive in this rock. I mean, they're so far apart. I just don't feel like chasing them down. And yeah, I mean, you know, them. some people are really fucking stubborn. But maybe they would enough. I mean, Okay, now what are you? Probably not Matriarch and Onaga stuff. Footprints and yeah, the two mercenaries are facing each other over the crate when they died. Both suffered a single gunshot wound and have a rifle close beside them. So they had a duel. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> you were saying. Uh, man, I don't know if you guys are idiots or geniuses, but I thank you nonetheless. Well, two more to go. Nah, I'll leave him be. All you need to do is continue to seriously expect them to not be whatever you're going. What, and I seriously expect there to not be two of them over here. Mm 
See, you know, I don't want to say it in this side, but not like that. Now you're expecting me. Okay, then. <laughs> See, this is absolutely a conversation we could be having, uh, uh, like, if we're in the Mako, except for the fact that we, every, like, you know, two seconds we're banging our head on the hull. <laughs> because, Possibly more than just our head. Yeah, because, number one, you trusted me to drive it. Number two, uh, terrain. I actually have no idea what this is, so we're gonna find out. Yeah. I do hope they have a bit less of the noise to link the photo Well, considering the segments, uh, the vehicle segment in two, uh, at least the only one that we are actually required to do, um, is number one with the hovercraft and number two much smoother it's a lot more tolerable hmm. that's something huh can't interact with this well can you interact with the turret well the tank uh doesn't look like it damn it hmm okay then well then fuck it we're leaving ten bucks says you get a quest to go there later only if it's actually on my list. And in the third game, I don't think there's a single vehicle segment. At all. Hmm. That's almost disappointing. Seriously, let's be honest. It's a building that's marked on the map, but there's no way for you to interact with it in any way. There's a quest about it. Probably. Let's see what's in this system then. Oh boy, quests! Commander Shepard, something uncomfortable has just come up. In the first contact war, we fired a lot of espionage probes into Turian space. We just received a mission complete burst from one of them. Where's That's it been in the meantime? No idea. Lost in transit. These probes were built in a hurry after first contact. What makes this uncomfortable? When these probes were launched, we didn't have any idea who we were fighting. We didn't want to risk aliens examining our technology. The probe has a demo nuke built in. A 20 kiloton tactical fusion warhead. About equal to the bomb dropped on Hiroshima back in the 20th. If somebody finds that Ouch. Arrow, Tempers with it. <laughs> you don't need me to finish, Commander. I understand. Yeah, that's pretty be serious. Ahead, but I don't have anyone trained to deal with this sort of thing, sir. I know. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. These probes have been classified for 26 years. The Council will call fusion bomb booby traps dangerous and irresponsible. The Alliance would face censure if they find this probe. I'm asking you because the Normandy can get on site quickly and quietly. It's in the Voyager cluster. It's in the Voyager cluster. That's the opposite side of the Alliance from Turian space. How did it get there? I don't know. It's possible someone recovered it safely and brought it there. It's also possible it got very badly lost. It could have been wandering the relay network since the war. We'll get yeah, I mean, it's been a while. Yeah. We'll be discreet. I appreciate that, Commander. Good luck. The fleet out. Yeah, that's a serious issue. You know, just, just, just minor. Like, wouldn't it have been much easier to just, I don't know, bring a smaller explosive to it? Hey man, if you wanna be sure. It's a proof you can set it to self-destruct in something that doesn't require a nuke. Brad, listen. If you want to be sure. Hey, all you need, all you technically need to destroy is the internals because it's 
no like saying what it looks like from the outside is gonna really let others learn about your technology. Show the son who's boss. Hmm. Someone wakes up and starts to attack you. Oh boy, I'm playing Tohu now! The worst, that is almost. Actually, nah, nah, that would be the worst. You think? Probably. I mean, shooting the soul in Dark Souls would probably just transport you in some, into some kind of, kind of bizarre arena in which you fight some other time. monster it one that's like a, twice yeah. your size. This thing didn't crash. Somebody moved it here. There's a nuclear weapon down there. We can't abandon it. Just stay on guard. All right, Shepard. In Toho, the sun would just go and ram right into you only to reveal whoever shot it behind it. Yeah. Oh, cool, to be precise. Yes, exactly. <laughs> because one of her spell cards is literally to just start throwing stars at you. Uh, at least in the literal meaning, because, you know, if we're going by, you know, caricature type stars, that would be more Marisa's joke. No, no. I mean it literally. Yeah, yeah, that, that's why. She throws suns at you. The fact that the right word for that is stars is an entirely different matter. See, Marissa will just wave motion gun you away. I mean, there's that too. Master Spark, motherfuckers. I mean, she does like throwing quite the flurry of stars in between, but yeah, control and Master Spark. Shepard, at last. Oh. Uh, you have you? me at a disadvantage. You don't remember me. <laughs> no matter. I remember you. I never forget anyone I fought. My name is Elonis oh, Elliot. I doubt you know it. Who do you think runs the Terminus Clan, Shepard, huh? Thousands of pirates, slavers, criminals of every stripe? In most criminal organizations, it's the one who's recognized as the most successful. That's correct. The one who kills the most men, seizes the most ships, pillages the most colonies. Three years ago, I was the strongest. I used my influence to assemble a fleet. We would drive your kind out of the verge. You're the one behind the attack on Elysium. I was the motivator, the instigator, the one who promised glory and riches for sacking the largest human colony in the cluster. The one blame oh my. had failed, failed, failed because of you, your damnable holding action. Hmm. What do you think? Okay. My crew will come for me. Oh, let them. We'll be ready. An alliance. That's not what I expected with Captain Normandy. Yeah. Oh. And if you haven't noticed, the ores here are laced with heavy metals. I'm afraid your suit radios aren't powerful enough to transmit out. We'll find a way out of here. <laughs> I rather doubt that. Goodbye, Shepard. Hold my what do we do now, Shepard? I don't know. Let me think. You two see if there's anything in here we can use. Oh, there's more people. Uh, is this a bad time to mention I never took EOD, much less for nuclear weapons? Well, that was fast, just and this disabled. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't just slap Omni Gel on it. <laughs> Can you keep trying? I would assume so. 
Just in me, Ellie kills you instead. <coughs> And also, uh, yeah, Rand, the, uh, dialogue ch choices being a bit jank are, uh, unknown problem with this game. Yeah, like, people complain about Witcher 3's ones, which were actually kind of understandable if you at least somewhat knew the character. But that's like, really? I wonder, does that actually count as completed? I uh -huh. Okay. Apparently not. I guess we need to go and take down Halia or something. You know what? He expects me to be down there. He's, uh... He's not going anywhere. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> kind of weird still since... The uh... message coming in from the brass at Arcturus. Oh. Catching it through. Normandy, Admiral Hackett here. We're getting reports of a marked increase in geth activity in the Skillian Verge. Oh, Surveillance man. drones have identified geth outposts on four different planets in the Armstrong Cluster. We need someone to take them out. I'm on it, Admiral. Finding Saren is still your top priority, but you've got experience fighting the geth. You're the logical choice to take out these outposts. We're transmitting all the locations of known get outposts in the Armstrong cluster to the Normandy now. And we'll hack it out. You know what, I Mira? Mean, you really should make it a point to make sure there's not only one option to fix all of these things. I'm pretty sure you have plenty of soldiers. Yes, but there's only one Commander Shepard. Exactly. Like, you would. You would think they was try training other people to be able to fight the game. Or hey, a writing. Hey, what's that? Eight, nine, something. I think that's like. I think that's like nine. Yeah, XP. I think. Man, I don't think. I don't think the galaxy can handle more than one shepherd. Hold my beer. Oh, hello, girls. In a while, I think, maybe. That would have completely missed incoming coming on last mission. No, it was, it was Ash and Tally last time. Well, let's look over here first. And how many writings do we have? We have nine, so all we need to do is find one more. Uh, so completely forget scanning plans after that. Yeah. Finally. So we don't get the feeling that there might be more writings than we actually need to I think there's like 16 total. Uh -huh. Okay. So at least you don't have to completely 100% the writings if you want to get if you want to get all you need. You just need ten. Yeah, that's definitely good. Merciful. Uh, yeah, that's uh, what we're doing. Well, looks at me being a completionist on basically everything. Don't need a mom and pop independent salvage team. Show signs of close range hits from Geth heavy particle beams. Hmm. Could it be that the Geth are here? Nah, cool. Nah, the Geth haven't been seen, seen outside the Vale in years. You know, except uh, except for all of those other times in which they have. It's like the Skaven. I have no idea what you're talking about. They don't exist. Room 
vroom, vroom, vroom. Just keep climbing. Something, something. Okay, what do we got over here? Do you have more Matrix to Lanaga writings? Probably not. Only hope. Whee! All terrain infantry fighting vehicle defeated by a box. Yep. It's just another collectible. Okay. Oh. Now to go kill the robots. You get us anything useful for collecting them? Don't think so. Oh, well then. Just XP, credits, you know, generic stuff that doesn't carry over. Uh, oh, XP doesn't carry over? I mean, you hit a certain rank or a certain level and. or something. It's nothing to do with importing a character unless you start at a higher level, but it's not like, you know, it's level for level. God, if it was like that, the games would be tr the later games would almost be trivial. You know, I don't think I can climb a sheer cliff, but I'm gonna try. I mean, I've seen a couple of RPG sequels that just had a higher starting level than you know. I guess, but Mass Effect is not one. Yeah, yeah, that, that's just why I was asking. Oh my God! You're just rolling down the mountain at this point. It's we did not follow. Gravity's a fucking bitch. I mean, if you apologize like that, sure. I'm not apologizing. Gee, I wonder what happened here. It's almost like there's death out there. There's death in them dark hills. Yes, don't forget to get up on that. Alright, sweep and clear. Now, something I just noticed that will probably help me. Oh, shortcuts. A fucking hot bar. Might be useful, yeah. You know, just maybe. Or can I. Nope, I can't drag weapons up there. Can you drag an ability? Okay. Nope. Oh well. Engaging target. This nice that they die a lot faster. The light show is rather annoying, though. Which light show? From them or from my gun? 
from them. Okay. The big giant red sparky stuff covering the screen and support mm -hmm. the like was well, that's, a bit my that's, eyes. A, that's actually an effect of the gun. I think it was mostly both of the effects from the fire. Yeah, the particle effects from weaponry also gets toned down. Yeah. Oh, ambush. Never would have seen that coming. Fucking no one. Yeah, they go down a lot faster now, don't they? Yeah. But I'm getting a bit stronger. Little jamming bastard. All hey, finally down. found him. Garrus nearly not surviving that fight. Yeah. You would think the Gator would have known better by now. Haha, <laughs> funny. I guess they don't really have the capacity to learn. Oh, they do! They just think they're better. Ah, so they learned the wrong lessons all the time. Exactly! Garrus, do you have a, a mod in your armor? Yeah. <laughs> that moment when light armor has better protection because it's freaking such a higher rank. Higher rank. Right. Good for snowy planets in which we're not. I like I'm I mean. It's honestly the thing I like about the later games. They pretty much do away with squad mate uh, gear other than their weapons. Mm. So it's a lot less of a hassle trying to keep everyone geared up. Also since, you know, weapons don't become outdated. Yeah, that's almost disappointing, but at the same time that would make it actually possible to have squad mates that don't use other more. Pretty much. And you know, eliminates the hassle of having human with armor and then armor specifically for different looking Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Can you imagine the hassle if they also have to add uh, armor from server and other speeches of the time? Yeah. Whee! <laughs> uh. Well, I guess we're finishing this fight off. But if I can get out of this. Okay, never mind. But uh, we're gonna finish them off right anyway. Yeah. Three to go. What? All clear. Three to go? What? Yeah, this is one of four Geth bases. Oh yeah. But that's a problem for next time. Yeah. We're gonna have fun and we'll see you next time. Laters. Bye.